You're watching Nissan Sports Beat. Nissan, innovation that excites. And hi there, everybody. Welcome to Beat. Glad to have you aboard tonight. Jeremiah, we thought it might happen all week long, and this afternoon, it did. Yeah, like it or not, Utah accepted the invitation to play BYU in the Las Vegas Bowl, so the rivalry is headed to Sin City. Saturday, December 19th, 1.30 p.m. Utah time. The Cougars and the Utes will meet for the 90th time. Both teams coming in at 9-3. and three. They haven't played each other in two years. Utah wins it by a score of 20-13. Win two years ago in Pro Bowl, the fourth straight for the Utes in this rivalry series. Of course, there will be plenty of emotion in this bowl game just because of the rivalry, but also, of course, it's Bronco Mendenhall's final game as head coach before leaving for Virginia. It get personal. It get it get in the the holy war. It get it get in on the on and off the field. Who who the better person? Who who <laughs> this? Who the better team? What coach is better? The legacy, so when all that coming into play, it, it, it bring them, it bring the morale to such a, such a higher level. I'm excited for another chance to play, another opportunity to get another win, to get 10 wins. I can't wait to play in the ball game because of how how hard we're gonna fight for this guy. Um, that is something that will happen. There will be uh, a new level uh, of fight in us for Coach Mendenhall. Joining us now to uh, talk about the uh, red-blue BYU-Utah rivalry headed to Vegas. A couple of former Utes and former Cougars for the Utes. Stevenson Sylvester and Christian Cox for the Cougars. Vic Soto and David Nixon. Guys, thanks for coming in. Well, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Fun to talk about. <laughs> Just a lot of linebackers yeah. over here. <laughs> right. Of course, yeah, the other guys can't put two words together, so we had oh. to have the linebackers come in. Oh, ouch. <laughs> true thirds, true thirds. All right, I want to get you guys' reaction when you heard this. I mean, obviously... At the beginning of the season, this seemed like a, a fairy tale, you know, a far-fetched thing. Now it's reality. Talk about the BYU guys. What was your reaction when you heard this was going to happen? Well, it was down to the Hawaii Bowl and down to the Vegas Bowl. And so for BYU, I think fans were happy to go to the Vegas Bowl because it's closer and you get to travel. And it's now on, on Christmas Eve, which is also yeah. a huge plus. Um, but I think any time you get to go against a Pac-12 opponent instead of uh, AAC or, or, you know, other teams that, that was looking at the Hawaii Bowl, it's a plus. And so for BYU fans, I think they're happy. And then, of course, you can match up with the youth. Oh, yeah, okay, forget this is not just a <laughs> 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 Before, before they even announced the use. So earlier this week when BYU yeah. accepted the Hawaii, the, I mean the, the, the Vegas Bowl, they were thrilled. But now yeah. that you've got uh, BYU and Utah, what are you, your thoughts just like, I'm excited. wow. I'm beyond excited. I think, um, you know, it hasn't happened in two years. And, it's, and everybody in the state wants it to happen regardless if they say they want to or not. And it could have been avoided if they had played earlier in the season, right? So I think it's just a great, it'll be a great, great bowl game. And everyone's going to be tuned in. It's the only real, it's the only rivalry game that's going to be going on, yeah. and, and it's just awesome. It's I think this is the best scenario for BYU. Utah may have a different mm -hmm. perspective on this. What was your guys' reaction? And, and is this the game you guys wanted to play, or is, or is there disappointment that you didn't get a better bowl? Yeah, I, I guarantee players are disappointed, especially after the rise of the season. You, you're ranked third. You end up co-conference champions in terms of nine and three on the season but if you want to look at bowl matchup this is the best bowl matchup we could possibly get you may be disappointed you're not at the holiday bowl where you think you could have been but you you blew your opportunities by not beating arizona and by not beating ucla so whether you like it or not you're going to be playing your rival who you haven't played in two years and uh it's a perfect matchup with bronco exiting and having kyle whittingham uh, show up and sly as a player disappointed you're not going to a bigger better bowl per se kyle whittingham won't let them feel too badly oh, about no. themselves will oh he? no no he won't no um this is definitely a rivalry game no matter who says it's not whether utah feels like oh we're in the Pac-12, so we don't need to play a Mountain West Conference opponent. Uh, yes, we wish we would have went to a better bowl. We had the opportunity. We had a great team. We had the schedule set up. All we had to do was handle business, and we weren't able to do that. And what better way to let out our frustrations than play <laughs> BYU? Yeah. Well, a lot of you, know, you guys are on social media. A lot of Utah fans are really upset about this. Really frustrated, not just because it's the disappointment in not getting a bigger bowl, but playing BYU. A lot of people are cool on this rivalry and don't want to see it continue. Do you agree with that? I, I, 
I don't know what people are thinking. This rivalry is awesome, especially playing in it. I have a personal touch in it, so it's just, uh, it's, it's a different feeling. And for fans, I'm a fan now, and I'm, I, I got excited because I heard that this was actually an opportunity that it was going to happen. As soon as I heard that, I'm like, what? BYU in the Vegas Bowl? I'm going to Vegas. I'm going back home. I got I to gotta watch this game. Well, I was just going to say, the vendetta, right? We all played the Mountain West. We were playing against each other in the conference. There's been such a change in the last five years with BYU going independent and, and Utah going to the Pac-12. So there's been all these changes with recruiting and fans. You know, Utah's gone 4-0. Fans have become, you know, the separation of programs. I think this is a great opportunity to show where the programs really are, independent if Utah is depleted and injured and if, you know, BYU is uh, losing Bronco and they're actually going to get up and play for the game. It's, it's going to be a perfect matchup, and there isn't a better one you could find. Okay, but how weird is it going to be for the players to play your rival in Las Vegas rather than Provo and Salt Lake City? It takes a little bit to get used to, I would assume. I don't think so. I think you know? I think wherever you play, yeah. if, if you're playing, if you're playing yeah, really? in the parking lot, it's still the same game. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> really? Wearing blue, we wearing yeah, red. That's it's, all the it's the same thing. Well, and, for me, and you, you've had a lot of fans that are frustrated, saying, "Look, Utah and BYU are going to now play two other next three games because you know they played the second game of, of next season." But my, my take on that is, look, BYU will have a different head coach. There'll be different players. Seniors are going to graduate. So you have the opportunity now. You jump at it, and you go play each other. I mean, it's, it's the last game of the year. You have bragging rights for the whole offseason, something to really build your program on. So it's a great opportunity. Okay, at the Las Vegas Bowl at Fremont Street, they have the big gathering the night before the game. Cougars do the haka, okay? That's caused some problems with other teams. How are the Utes going to handle being with the Cougars when they do the haka at you, Fremont Street? Have you so had I, problems with the haka before? I don't even know what the haka <laughs> is. No. But you know what I'm talking <laughs> about. Some video evidence slide. Uh, yeah. We have it on video. I have no idea, but, you know, I know I Gianni Paul really well, and he gets pretty hyped up, so. Um, <laughs> is he many, that might is he be many the best part of the week, the, the uh, yeah. Fremont Street. No, I have, I have no idea, but I, if they're smart, they'd separate them. You don't have rivals like this play in bowl game. You don't have Michigan, Ohio State right. play. Um, th so this is, this is a unique opportunity to experience something that we've never experienced before, right? And it's a great opportunity because I don't think BYU-Utah gets enough credibility for a rivalry as a, the, the yeah, Ohio State Michigans, you know what I mean? The BAM LSU, they don't see it nationally as we do here in the state, and it, I think it's a great opportunity for us to come out and show you know, what this rivalry is all about. Yeah, what a bummer they don't have enough time to build it up, right? We only got two weeks. Like, the, there's been such a, there's been such a, you know, a, a hiatus, and you got all these new players for both teams. It'll be interesting to see what the actual carryover, yeah. they'll, they'll know how big of a deal it is. This game, I feel like we can, you know, get the younger players who haven't been involved in the rivalry, get them into the rivalry, and the older players, they get it right before they get out. Why does BYU win this game? What has to happen? for BYU to win this game? I think BYU is Ryan's momentum. You know, they, what, what they've done here the last few games of the year, beating Utah State at Utah State, Fresno State, while they're not terrific opponents per se, they, they beat them convincingly. I think BYU is Ryan's momentum going into this game, but offensively, they're going to have to move the ball. There's no question Utah's defense is terrific this year, and that's been their strong point of their team. Both teams are kind of at different points. You know, Utah started off, out, started off really hot. They've kind of cooled off here at the end. BYU opposite. BYU struggled, uh, you know, losing to Michigan and, and UCLA, but they've kind of come, out, come on at the end of the year. See where BYU BYU's strengths of schedule, right? They, they front load it. They had a lot of tough games early, but the tough games they've lost has been to quality opponents. It's been to UCLA when they get against Press Man against the Michigan. They got punished on the road. The receivers couldn't get off. Utah plays Press Man like crazy. The defense is a perfect matchup. Where BYU's defense struggles is against the run. Paul Perkins runs for 220. You know, Joe Williams isn't Devontae Booker, but that's Utah's offense. It's predicated on the run game. Utah doesn't throw the ball efficiently. Will BYU's receivers be able to, to get off of, you know, whether it's Dominic Hadfield, whether it's Tevin Carter coming up, laying huge hits? It's a perfect matchup, what you want. I definitely agree that Utah is just going to dominate this game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I know we've had injuries on offense, yes, but, you know, towards the end of the season, everybody's got injuries. But now we've had two, three weeks to recoup. I think we'll get some of our guys back here at the bowl game. The weather should hopefully be nice in Vegas. And our offensive line is just massive, and we can move people out of the way. Broncos' last game, how motivated are these players going to be to play for him and get that 100th win? Beyond motivated. So I was in the team meeting when Bronco told the team that, you know, he wasn't coming back next year, and every single one of them stood up and clapped and were teary-eyed when he walked out the door. So I think these guys are beyond motivated. 
um, especially the the seniors that have played in those those two losing games that they played against Utah. They actually get a, an opportunity to go out with the win. But how much of a motivation will that be for the youth saying, you know what? Ain't gonna let that happen. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't, gonna <let laughs> that right? Ain't gonna let that happen. Now, you know, the loser of this game, an entire summer, because there's not another game, right. entire summer of hearing it from the opposing fans. That's the best part of the rivalry, right? We got family, like my brother-in-law is one of the, you know, the walk-on receiver, Travis Fry for BYU, and my, my father-in-law is a season ticket holder to the Utah games and has been forever. So, you know, wh whoever comes out on top of this game, there's so many woven storylines. Um, Utah can be 5-0 and over the last five meetings over BYU, or uh, and, or they lose and Bronco goes out on his white horse. I, I think that's why rivalry is so awesome is because you have families uh, that are divided, you have coworkers, everyone at it uh, yeah, during the week going at it, but that's the beauty of it. That's why you enjoy it. it it's here, it, it worked out to where I think this will, outside the New Year's Six Bowl games, this will be the most intriguing matchup of the bowl season, so there'll be a lot of attention on it, and uh, I'm excited for the matchup. And the winning team wins 10 games, the watermark for a really, really good season. Because mm -hmm. if you go back to the beginning of the season, say, you want 10 wins, we'll take it. Especially in a Pac-12 conference. And, and, the, and the 10th win being against your rival yeah, in the yeah. state, okay. that's massive. Yeah. Well, I'm pumped. Are you guys ready already? Oh, I'm excited. So, I am so excited for Fremont Street <laughs> before the game <laughs> and the Hawkeye and see how you react. Yeah, yeah how are you going to be reacting? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I just see where I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, they probably won't even tell me where it says. <laughs> <laughs> Fremont Street's not hard to find. <laughs> gentlemen, oh, you're from Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. yeah gentlemen, David Nixon, Vic Soto, Cougars, Christian Cox, Stevenson. Sylvester for the Utes guys. Thanks for coming in. Thanks guys. Two weeks of this stuff. It's going to be fun. It'll be awesome. Yeah. All right. See you in Vegas.